Darcy welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome back to another vlog so today is Tuesday it's Tuesday afternoon around like 3 30 ish and I am in the final stretch of my summer classes I will be done tomorrow night um, but right now I have a bit of a break so I had class this morning and then I have a bunch of papers due tomorrow but like I have like all day tomorrow to do them so like I have like 24 hours that like I like have nothing scheduled and all I have is these papers and for me that's like really bad because then I like I'm like oh I have so much time I can just like do whatever and so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like go out and like do some fun stuff for a little while take my mind off of things because if I like focus too hard on something for a long time then I kind of get like a writer's block so I'm gonna like go do some stuff let my mind kind of like process through what I'm like writing these papers on one of them is basically done I just like need to reread it again and it's done but my two journalism pieces are not really done like one's a profile and I have like the interview done but now I have to like make it like a cohesive thing and it's like it's gonna it's gonna be kind of interesting like I don't know I've had a weird day guys like um <laughs> first I got stuck in the elevator and that was just really weird and unfortunate um also like it was just like a long day in general because I had to sit through a bunch of presentations in class this morning and then I'm reading through this interview because it was on email and the person I profiled she's like talking about weed and I'm just like I don't know what to do with this it's a profile on this like Instagram influencer who I had never heard of before but my professor like recommended I do it on and like I don't think she knew what I was getting into like I don't even know so I'm just like in a weird days of like a day I, I don't even know like yeah getting stuck in the elevator was just like not fun and just this whole day has like kind of been weird so I'm going to give myself a break because this past weekend I didn't really give myself that much of a break um I mostly just slept because I was so exhausted, but I have a little bit of energy right now, so basically my plan is to go, there's like a new store that opened nearby, it's called Bulletin, and so I want to go check that out, so it's really cute, my old roommate told me about it, now she's moved out, I'm living by myself for a couple weeks, um, and then I might go to Domino Park again, I've been there once before and I really liked it, um, so I might go there again because I didn't vlog when I was there and I didn't go during the day, so I couldn't like check out some of the other things around there, so that's what's up. This morning on Instagram, Instagram, I had something different that I posted for my outfit of the day so if you're like stalking me and like realize that it's like the same day as like I posted that outfit yes I'm wearing something different sometimes that's that's just been the day I've been having okay don't give me a hard time because this is cute too and this top is like polka dots with like a Peter Pan collar thrifted Levi's and Steve Madden shoes that I always wear because they're so comfortable so I think I mentioned recently that they have been painting the hallway outside of my room so that's all done but now the floor is like taken out like there's no floor I mean there is a floor but like not the actual floor <laughs>
say from what I'm aware, but it's always a little creepy to me when there's like you know, one on the street. Like there's no one on the street right now. It's like, where are all the people in the middle of the afternoon on a Tuesday? I guess they're at work on Manhattan. Also, it is so hot. I don't like summer very much. I'm tired of it. I can last for winter for several months, but after like two months of summer, I'm done. because I was disgusting and it's so hot and humid out. I am not a fan, um, but now I feel refreshed and I had a nice break and so now I'm ready to sit down and get some work done. Hopefully I wanna get my research proposal turned in because that's basically done. And then I need to get drafts done of my two journalism pieces because I don't have drafts of either of them yet. And so that way I can edit them tomorrow and that's all I'll have to do tomorrow. And then I will be done, yay. And I have videos to edit, but I don't need to do that right away. I put a video up today, so I'm like doing all right on that. Yeah, so it's around 6 o'clock. I don't know if I said that. Um, it looks like it might rain almost, so I'm glad I went out when I did. And this is like, I feel like it should be like 8 o'clock. Usually I don't take a shower this early, but I was just, I needed it. Submitted my paper, one thing down, I feel pretty good about that. Now I'm going to make myself some dinner because I'm hungry. And I'm gonna start working my journalism pieces. Why is this so liquidy? Like my freezer doesn't freeze. I don't understand, like this is still frozen. theory about the freezer it seems like the back is frozen and the front is where things get really liquidy because like look like this that's frozen but then i had stuff here and it was liquidy so i'm going to do an experiment right now this is not completely frozen i'm gonna put it up here and see if it freezes and i think it will yes this is quality entertainment here i'm going to put this on the internet with wet hair and a t-shirt talking about my freezer so I hope you enjoy. It's not raining yet, but I'm seeing lightning and I'm hearing thunder, so you know it's coming. I feel like in like almost all my vlogs, it's like storming and I, I just because it rains a lot here, I don't know. I don't know if you just saw that, but it just lightened again. Let's see if I can get work to do because that's still not where I want them to be but I'm almost there final stretch and then I'll have like three and a half weeks off I think until school starts so I am loving my outfit today same jeans as yesterday because I didn't wear them for very long um, this white tank is from American Eagle and then I have this black bralette with like lace peeking through that I got from Pack, which you would have seen in my, one of my recent vlogs um, then I have this necklace from uh, Nordstrom Rack and just like my everyday rings and jewelry. So I just, I mean, it's almost noon. I like slept in because I've been really tired and I was like, I need to be able to focus and I need to have sleep. Um, but I still have like several hours until I need to like really turn stuff in. So yeah, I just want this to be done with.
feeling a little bit better about my final piece is on the commodification of social justice movements in the fashion industry because that's something I've noticed a lot like I have a lot of t-shirts that are like super like feminist and stuff so I thought it'd be interesting to do a blog post on that for my final for my journalism class because it's like a fashion class but like my writing is usually a lot more serious like and in depth so I kind of wanted to do something more serious for my final because we could pick anything so I will link that down below if you're interested in reading it because I'm going to post it on my blog because that's what I want to do and we can do anything so um, I'm still like not super confident about my profile piece just because she want like we she said we could do a Q&A style or like written through um, but she said like she would prefer written through but like I feel like mine is just really random and like how do you write through a piece on like someone who like I don't know it's so random it's like oh I do weed and like I don't know what to do with that so yeah that's kind of where I'm at I wanted to give you all a little update on my experiment because I know you're probably just cliffhanging right now and it's frozen. It's not like completely frozen, but it's pretty much frozen. So I don't know what the deal is with this freezer. I'm glad that I'm going to be done with it in the new dorm that I'm moving to. It's supposed to have like really nice kitchens, so that'll be good um, because the freezer doesn't work very well. But at least I figured out if I put stuff near the back, it like stays frozen better. So now you know. I'm getting there on my pieces. Uh, the worst part, in my opinion, of writing is going back and editing your own work because it just like literally makes my brain hurt because like, you're like reading the same thing over and over again and you know what it's supposed to say so it can be really easy to read it as you think it's supposed to be and then not realize like and not catch your own mistakes. I started using Grammarly to try and catch mistakes but even now I'm going back and reading and like it just doesn't catch things because it doesn't always know when something is like doesn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, it might be grammatically right, but then it doesn't make sense. Like, it doesn't necessarily know all the words. Like, it doesn't, like, the piece that I just wrote for my other class on YouTubers, like, it didn't catch the word YouTuber when it should have just been YouTube. Um, like, it doesn't understand what that means, so. It's good for catching some things, and I definitely think it's helpful if you don't have someone to edit your work, but, yeah, just, like, going back and rereading is the worst part, so that's kind of where I'm at right now. So I'm, like, basically there. Like, I'm doing fine on time. It's just, like finding the little nit nitty gritty things that I need to catch. It's up. Woohoo! I'm actually pretty proud of how it turned out. It's 3.20 and I am done with two hours of spare. I am basically free. All I have to do is go to class tonight and then I am done before I have to start all over again for the fall. But you know what? I have a few weeks off and I'm excited. I am going to be working on my YouTube content, back to school stuff, some more. I have several videos I need to edit actually. And then I'm going to be launching my Etsy yeah, hopefully later this week, maybe even tomorrow. So by the time you see this, my guess is it will be up. Um, definitely follow me on Instagram because I'll probably be posting there first when new things go up on my Etsy. So definitely do that. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited and then I'm going to be going home next week sometime, probably. It kind of depends on when I move into my dorm because I don't tell you, which is frustrating. I just have like this long week or so span, but yeah, almost there. It's been a few days since half of my room has been empty. My roommate moved out last week, which I think I mentioned in the vlog. Um, but basically, like, I haven't really ever lived in this room with no one else in it because when I moved in here in January, my old roommate was living here because she was like living here throughout the whole year. And then I left for home after spring semester. By the time I came back, my new roommate had moved in. So it's like been really weird. Like half of my studio is empty. <laughs> And I, it, there's like so much more space I feel like and also it's like I don't know is it more echoey maybe but I can just like walk in the bathroom and like not have to walk through someone's stuff and also like 
I can just like leave the bathroom door open because like no one else is here and it's just really weird I'm not used to like living all by myself like I've never really lived all by myself when I was well okay like for the first two weeks of summer my roommate wasn't here um but her stuff was here so like it didn't completely feel like it was mine but the fact that like there's just like blank space like there's no no people's stuff on the furniture like makes it feel more like my own and at first i really missed my roommate because i felt kind of lonely like oh i'm like living by myself and like i still kind of miss having a roommate because like i miss having someone to be like oh how was your day that kind of thing but it's also kind of nice because i can just like do whatever and not have to like worry about someone else and like invading their space or like when you want to go to bed like if you want to stay up late and they want to go to bed early or vice versa it's kind of nice i don't know i'm not sure i would want to live by myself long term yet but i could get used to this update on the hallway situation they painted my door earlier so now it's like a nice fresh coat and the floor looks somewhat decent but it's clearly not the end result so yeah this is what it's like living in summer housing summer to fix everything but now we're going to class also just wanted to say the summer went by really really fast i think summer classes is a really smart use of your time except for if you like in an internship or something that's probably better but if you don't then i think summer classes are great because you have a lot out of the way in much less time and so it just makes a lot of sense and it's more productive use of your time i would have just like i don't even know what i would have done because last summer i like just like worked and it was really boring so i'm glad i decided to do this for the summer and it definitely made the summer go by faster classes and all my papers I'm done and I took the elevator on the way back up so I think I'm over that fear for the moment we'll see but I just like out of habit took it and when I was on the elevator I was like watching the numbers rise and like hoping it didn't stop on four again but I got here all fine and if I hadn't I would have sat in the elevator and eaten my salad um so I have some sweet green because I'm hungry and I thought it'd be a fun thing to get now that I'm done. A little celebration. Since I'm done with everything, I think this is going to be the end of this vlog. I am really glad that I did summer classes and that I made it through. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, definitely subscribe if you aren't already. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. So I think I mentioned recently, come on focus.